ladies, gentlemen, distinguished delegates, welcome to the LPLCS Economy League Final. I'm joined by uh, one smart person for a, like a couple seconds and one very dumb one. Uh, I think we have I'll the same name. Seconds, we have the same name anyways, so it's fine. Hey guys, it's me, pre PC uh, for... Nope, it's not PC Praetorian. That's the dumb one. That's the mighty fool. <laughs> and then uh, PC Praetorian. I'm the Praetorian. distinguished um. delegate. Oh, if only, if only. You certainly are distinguished. Uh, I've got... <sighs> I've got my pickums. They're perfect oh, okay. in economy except for one uh, mishap where victory took a quarterfinal game. I mean, that means they're not perfect. Uh, except yeah, I said they're perfect except imperfect. for one. Okay, dude. Yeah. So like maybe um, you were you were wrong. Right? They're better That's than Colbert's pick them. Let me tell you that. Hmm. <laughs> Colbert started a lot of beef in the past few weeks that I want to talk about. Yes. Uh, he Yo, started. We should have a whole segment. A whole segment. Whole we only have moments before the game. So, <laughs> okay, here's a Colbert segment. Uh, Colbert started some shit, dog. Great support, though. I really liked watching him play the other night. I think, Mighty, you were with me, right? Yeah, yeah. Kohlberg was playing, like, engaged supports mostly. Nautilus, mm -hmm. I think, was one game. and Yeah, solid games. I think uh, that they'd be smart to go for that with just the point-and-click CCs. Because it's, like, very easy to execute. Where's the where's the hype lobby music that huh? I always plays? There's, there's music playing right now. Is that's the chance thing, you know. That's the, I, I'm playing you know. music right now. If you're listening, this Buckleberry guy I can't really figure that stuff out. I just oh, I don't play gosh. it so you can hear it. I play it so the stream can hear it. If I played it so you could hear it, you'd hum along and you'd sing, and you guys have never heard the Mighty Fool sing, and you don't want to. No, you don't. That's bad. Man has never won karaoke. You can win karaoke. See, I've he's never, never been won. to karaoke. <laughs> he's never done it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like someone who hasn't won at karaoke before. <laughs> hey, what the hell? <laughs> um, well, we're going to see if either of these teams can win in three games. I'm fingers crossed whoever wins one. These three games. Wins. I don't care who wins, but... Wins the next two. Whoever wins the first one, you better win the next two. This is going to be a make... long night if it's a five-game series. Can we make karaoke competitions the new tiebreak rules? Oh. On-stream karaoke Dang. competitions? That would be wow. sick. That would be horrid. Who's <laughs> paying for that? <laughs> Uh, I would do I would do video entry karaoke like you have to be live in a live place. Now, now. <laughs> What's that? Okay, okay. Doctor gave me a relaxation cassette. When my blood pressure gets too they're high, they're playing uh, the the they're playing the serenity. Now. Yeah, I know. That's... We've we've changed the sound alerts now, so they are um, oh, oops, they're more uh uh related to your team. So uh, you play serenity. You get the Serenity Esports logo. You play Meowington, you get the logo. And what was uh, the one was the team you were showing me earlier? I don't, I don't know. What did Has I this say? lobby been made yet? They're three minutes behind schedule. I'm in the lobby with the main pool. Oh, oh yeah, wow! We, both teams playing play them up. I think there's room in the lobby. Uh, did, are we inviting PC Praetor? Are you casting on this? I'm here until Popoba gets here. Oh, you're your temporary Popoba. Okay. He's fake Popoba. Uh, there's a lot of people. There's a lot way. of people here. Okay. okay. Wait, did they not know how this works? Oh my gosh. I have to leave now. Well, one Wait, of the spectators. Just add, 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 add the last. Oh. Legit, as uh, Mighty says. Add a friend. Add as, as a friend. and then Last Legit? Uh, I can just stream in, in Discord. Perfect. Uh, there you want. go. And just drop out. Yeah, he kicks. You'll get the scuffed cam. Let I me, have to um... trust. I have to trust Mighty's internet. This is the stuff that they don't want to show you, chat. I'm gonna be, uh, you know, just listen to Pretoria. I was talk. messaged by the fearless leader of Serenity, Norway Pete, and he says, "Don't call him Kolberg. Call him Trollberg." Okay, I like that. So, right, someone is really cheering for me out today, and I'm loving it. <laughs> it's very fun. <laughs> We're almost at a hype train. <laughs> all right all right let me um let me end this first prediction give me one second please don't touch the predictions that are happening should i mess with the prediction no if anyone should touch it it's i would let someone who's new to the stream 
touch the prediction before I let you touch the prediction, I think. Sounds fake. I would have someone's, you right know now. what, I know for a fact, I'm pretty sure someone's mom's watching tonight because they're dope and they watch LBLCS, and let me tell you, she's doing it before you are, okay? You know, Mighty, before I knew who you were, I was legitimately, like, didn't like you because <laughs> you cost me 70k shrekles. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I, I'm, I'm down with that. <laughs> To be fair, I may have cost you schmeckles, but somebody loves me because they won big when they shouldn't have. True. And I think like... Rescue and I were the losers on that one. We were the only two losers. Yeah. I'm just happy it was people that wouldn't like legitimately be furious. You know? We've got a draft law link. No doubt. You wouldn't get it. You're not like up there uh... with the smarts. I don't know. I'm that glad people stuff. have started moving oh, to draft me, Let me link this to you, Pretoria. Yeah, what else are you glad about? That's the wrong team name. I gotta change that. Uh, Mr. Lo non Lobby Haver, here's your thing. Please don't talk about lobbies. I talk about lobbies if I want to. Alright, alright. I know a lot about these teams. I'm gonna stay pretty quiet during Champ Select uh, because I know what I do. Uh, right. I mean, uh, it's okay. more that you don't know anything about league, but yeah, you, whatever you. You've seen go. them do NPC? their own thing, NPC? but he doesn't really. Uh, when you've won two LBLCS titles, then you can say Ooh. rude things to me. Okay. Until... That's fair. Never That's fair. Don't we have three? I thought we had three. You're just an idiot cold. and can't count. We, I'm pretty sure we only have two. Do we have three? Sorry, my team was <laughs> no, robbed by know. the complete lack of rules. No, we in season won. Five. Cheeto, thank you so much for the one season. Oh my god, dude, that was Cheeto. Cheeto did. What was that? What was the voice we did for Cheeto? Yeah, dude, it's Cheeto here. Uh, yeah, 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 Cheeto's like a surfer. Like yeah, a, Cheeto's a surfer. Yeah. Dude. Cheeto's sick, actually. Yeah, Cheeto dude. did the interview dude, and actually. He, like... he rides a giant Cheeto on the waves. Like, he just like rides around on yeah. this big, cheesy, like, kind of like orange <laughs> Cheeto thing. Dude, ah, oh, fucking Cheeto, dude. Dude. I love Cheeto, dude. What do you think, like, powers it? Like, dust? <laughs> I don't think Cheeto's as stupid as us. I think he just sounds like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cheeto, thank you for the... <laughs> Let the Cheetos rain, baby. Thank you for the 200 bits, dude. Cheeto's like my favorite player, though. What a of all time. Man. Also, Foolish Sucka is in this game, and I like Foolish Sucka. Foolish Sucka is good. Um, dude, Y2 Jerica in here. Uh, or if we were to do it based off how we pronounce LBLCS names, it would be Y2 G Rich Zero. <laughs> yeah, G Rich, good guy. I like. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We got we got big bands coming out. Um, Mr. G Rico. We've got the Gragas. We've got the Yone. We've got the Gangplank. The Mundo. If we learned one thing from the series with Serenity most recently, Band Mundo. That's the ban thing. Mundo. No, ban, that was not good. Just, was... just ban uh, the top lane. Leggett. Leggett. Yeah. yeah, that's the rest of the ban incorrect Leggett. name. That's the incorrect name. Ban Leggett. Oh, God. Get him Jack out. Jack in the chat. He's Get huge. him out. Nah, Jack can be in here. He's got to learn how to, He's got to learn social skills somehow. Let's, like, let him. That's fair. Jack's, Jack's cool. What was wrong with <laughs> him? This is why, this yeah. is why <laughs> you're a color caster, not an analyst. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Amumu is actually going to be the first thing picked up here, and it is locked in for the set of Serenity Esports. Classic Serenity move. Dude, Cheeto is popping off with Amumu. these. Cheeto, you're going crazy with the cheers, homie. I love it. Cheeto's getting pumped up. I like Cheeto, it. You could spend 100 of those bits and play a thing for your team, like a little voice thing I made. It's down below if you scroll down. Siv are going to be locked in here for Meowington. Right. So can we, can we outline some of the new things you can spend your schmeckles on? Because I see two new options. There are two new options, and they're pretty good. I made them up. So, holy shit! Holy shit! What do they do? What's they're hovering like, Sedrani. Like, Someone okay. should play the sound because it's Hog Rider. <laughs> oh I God. hunk alerted. What does it do? Yeah, you're supposed to tell us who the hunk is in the game, and then we'll only refer to them as hunk for a bit. Pedo. Already picked right. his jab, Moo Moo. Okay, okay. Down. All right. He's hunk. Cheeto's hunk. All right. We've so also the, got... the chat can change the hunk? Chat can change just... hunk. Yeah. All right, I like that, yeah. 
and then uh we well that's fair we just we just refer to someone as hunk until someone else uses hunk alert yeah then we have to hunt that guy all right and how about this means war man on the tape tells me to say uh, i think we have to like switch the narrative to the opposite of whatever we were just saying yeah so whatever you have to basically contradict yourself or root for the other team or say how bad of a play that was if you're talking about how good it was yeah like if they get a penta and then it, this means war just be like man that guy got outplayed by all five people he killed <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like am loving the bits getting played, guys. This is awesome. Oh, he played both. That's sick. <sighs> Izawa played the other one right there. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Not sure who Izawa is, but they goddamn Chad. Kendry picked. Okay, this... <laughs> they're still playing them. What is that? Oh, my lord. Yo, I just had to add the word chump to the permitted yeah, words list. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love people who call Buck Marshall. Marshall. That's weird. <laughs> Um, really? Really? I guess so. What a rude guy. It's only a matter of time before not PC Marshmallow Burner appears. <laughs> True. Wait, who is that actually? Just a, uh, like a, I think what you guys did like a preschool flyer, right? And then he signed up. Yeah, that's about right. PC Jackie Boy with the Panther Corps one. Wait, what's the Panther Corps one? <laughs> Is that what new? Oh, that's perfect. In between your toes. <laughs> it's got the the Pink Panther music. That's great. It, uh, and a ridiculous man yelling at people. Um, we're seeing the Vex band away. We're seeing the Zerath, the Urgot band coming up for the okay, top. Okay, I now. already don't like this team. That if they're gonna ban Vex, that's that's cringe. Um, oh, yeah. you just play Vex, so it's it's okay. Don't ignore both of them. Listen to me. Uh, What's wrong with Ben and Vex? I think it's the Twitch fine. and the Janna and the Amumu, that's pretty on par with how these guys like Serenity to play. Now! Serenity now! I really saw... like the Janna into Kindred as well. I think it's good. Yeah, just being able to push them out of that area is very well, strong. It's a really big counter. It will also the say, Serenity now! they don't want to die. <laughs> that's a <laughs> this is Meowing to say. Yeah. Never underestimate wow. the power of the scout's code. Wow, this guys. Is be a top tier. Thank you for oh, all the subs. the gift subs. Thank you for the gift. You guys, you guys are crazy right now. I love it. Thank you for the hype train going crazy. My God, this is the sickest match. Match hasn't right even right started. Now. This is like a hype big. <laughs> I know and they can't hear it, so the my co-casters don't even know when those sounds are popping up. And it's usually what <laughs> no, I'm saying. No, we have no clue. I know it's very <laughs> amusing. I love the orange pickup. I think that's very, very strong with a Twitch Amumu, being able to lock them all down for enough time. you just it, The timing is going to matter. This Tarek and Kindred have a much harder job than Amumu and Orn because you have to know when you're going to pull that. And if you pull it too early or you pull it too late, they can pretty much wombo you pretty quick. Yeah, I think yeah, having the combo makes it easier on both, though. Like, they have so much cold. safety with yeah. uh, Karma, Kindred, Tarek. Like, yeah. who, who dies? Yeah. They've got so much speed, too. Karma, RE, with Sivir Ultimate is just a lot of speed to move in. I, I would expect a big AP mid laner, unless Karma's in the mid here. Okay. Oh, stop it. No. Uh, uh, no, no way. Stop. Um, I'm I, to... I actually don't think it's a bad pick. I just I, I think it's a fine it. pick. I just hate the champion. Oh my yeah. god. So one thing I'll say is... Hey, so Meowington has only... LS as their coach. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Would LS pick that into Ari? I guess it's fun. Does anyone have the... Uh... The, the sub Denny's copy pasta sitting around somewhere. I don't think so. I feel like it's more of an improv thing. But it's exactly the same every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just always improv. <laughs> We're just really way. good at improv. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's look at what Pro Comps is saying. Guys, if you don't know what Pro Comps is, go on down to the bottom and check out our Pro Comps link. There's a code to get 25% off. Um... I actually really like Procomps. I like being able to look at it. I think it's visually pleasing. And it's also I, uh, good stuff. Uh, Mighty I can only work in, in visuals. A Mighty can only he can't read, so he only works with visuals. So this chart here I I'm bad with colors though. I need mon monochromatic as much as possible. <laughs> it's just disgusting. Um <laughs> the red side here has it's saying it has a bunch of siege and not that much engage as the blue side does. Have a lot of engage and almost no siege. I agree with that. I think this is going to sound really weird, okay? And don't get... Let the betting start. Can you do betting? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Great. Uh, don't no, let no, Mighty no, also, uh, Dammy okay. Oda, when you redeem Hunk Alert, you need to tell us who the newest Hunk is. Yeah, Who's I, I know hunk who Hunk is, dog. Is it you? Are you the Hunk? 
Kenny JJ Meowington support is the new hunk, apparently. Okay. Yeah, I think I think this is a really hard team for Twitch to play into as well because they have enough like invuln to time out Twitch ult, which is like. Well, I was gonna say I actually know who. This sounds crazy because you look at this team comps and you're saying, okay, this is all about like a Mumu Orn engage or Tara Kindred outplaying. I actually think it has nothing to do with them. They're all out of the game. This is an Ari Annie game. This is a, you are the weird piece of the puzzle here, and it's up to you to figure this stuff out. Because Ari, if you get a pick, if they don't have some one of those five people in their composition, it changes drastically in how they need to play team fights. And these guys have drafted to play team fights a specific way. And so when you- I'm gonna say something weird here. Yeah. I 100% agree with you. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. There's not that much damage on either side. Right. Um, and the fact that one damage dealer is kind of getting knocked out uh, against Serenity means that it's going to be way more important that Ari is, like, finding picks, especially into a comp that's so ultimate reliant mm -hmm. for team fights. Um, and then Meowington's team... She, Annie it, is that safe engage. Low damage, but, she is yeah. that safe engage. Like, she has the CC that's reliable, that's big, that's AoE. And she can, if you lock down Twitch or Janna out of place just a little bit and you can kind of shift your team fight around killing them first and focusing the same targets, super powerful. I think even though the safety is, and engage isn't necessarily in their hands on each team, like Annie isn't really in charge of the safety, Ari's not in charge of the engage, it's up to them to figure out how these fights are going to work. Yeah. I like that they're putting the Karma in the top lane as well. Uh, I, I have actually, I'm one of those guys that plays the Karma top occasionally, and I've played it into an Ornn, and I think it's a very easy, strong matchup. Oh shit, PC, uh, Jackie Boy Regime, this means war. I think Annie and Ari have nothing to do with this game. So Jack yeah, really, said it's just that gonna be I'm not allowed to advocate for betting Smash Schmeckles anymore. Okay. And in response to that, uh, Jack, please refer to Article 2, Section 1, Clause 1 of the Panther Corps Constitution about how we can remove the, the, the org owner. God, you guys know oh. how to read? Can you teach Mighty? He made up those rules. I, there's no way that's real. Um, you, you want a copy? I'll send no, a copy. I don't want a copy. Yeah, I, we don't need it. A... Listen, this game is starting at 9. On my pickums, I went like real in depth on my pickup. I had this as a 3 2. I had this as a 3 2 Meowington win. Okay? I don't know who's going to take game one. If I was putting my schmacks down. Everybody's gonna give me just drop the orange copy pasta because the guy who I saw real. pop off earlier was the last of the gate and he's on orange. So I'm thinking the dude's a Chad. I'm thinking he's gonna be able to chat it up. But I'm terrified of Annie. So I probably actually just wouldn't bet. <laughs> I'm actually I'm kind of in favor of uh Meowington's comp here. I think that Twitch is gonna have a hard time dealing damage. And that's I think just gonna give the edge. The so for everyone in the, the chat game, Whatever Mighty says, that just means you bet. You should definitely bet team. against it, yeah. yeah. I lose tremendous amounts. Of More than I do. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to go, on, I'm go on right now and just bet full on one side. It's incredible that I lose so many Schmeckles because I have very few. Although I want it to be a 3-0, this series is so unlikely to be a 3-0. So I'm going to bet on the same team all in every game. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the team's united to make sure it goes to five games just to make our lives miserable. Yowington is going to 3-0, I'm calling it right now. Whoa, whoa. And I, I don't want to bet against my guy Cheetah. That's just how it's going to be. Fair enough, dude. Wait, so I missed the part. Who are we calling Hunk now? Someone who's not in the game. <laughs> oh. So... I think it's... Uh... I see. Wait, who was it? JJ? J Is there a JJ? Jay Ritchie. Jay Ritchie? Yeah. The... Oh, Y2J. Oh, Jerry. 105k from Norway Pete. Holy shit. The man don't play. The man wait, can don't we get play. It? Can we get the... Oh, wait, no. I, I can't say anything. Right, no, right, you right. can't say anything. Damn. Yeah. I can. Roselle should hop in there and all in. If you're in the chat, Roselle, hop. do it. Uh, all in other side. Let's go. Yeah. So it's your responsibility as the richest uh, LDLCS chatter. Is he the richest? I don't know. I'm just making sure. PC, what was, oh. what's your max schmeckles you've ever had? Is it right now? <laughs> I have lost 200K in the last month. Holy shit. Two months wow. over the course didn't of fourteen we, didn't bets. Didn't we say that I lost so how more much, than you? How much have you? I've had two hundred and eighty-four. Okay. How much you have right now? Like hundred k? It's like seventy something. Oh wow! Jesus. 
Oh, the money Norway the Pete is rehunking. Linoleum, thank you so much for Daddy Jericho is what he's saying. But that's what Shoulder says. Linoleum, thank you for the um Linoleum, first off, great name. Uh I didn't realize that you went full bone apart with it. It's Hunter Lol. I don't know who that is. I just both teams Oh That's my how. T Schmidt, thank you so much for just your your generosity and your kind words. Uh, oh my God! How, what were the final bets? Can I see that? How do I see that? You gotta click in the, uh, uh, in the total thing. of one hundred and seventy k. We're bet on the game. One hundred and twenty seven k for Serenity. Oh. Forty three point forty three point six k for Meowinson. I know. <laughs> Didn't the old mid laner for Serenity accidentally bet fifty k on the wrong team the other? Yeah, that, that's how. <laughs> that was the that's, victory. That's who. Uh, that's who. It's Hunter at Wall that? is. Oh my God. God damn it, I love it. He really ruined my, my betting odds. I was kind of annoyed. It's really I deserved. It's really amusing to me. I mean, I feel horrible for him, but like I also never win at Schmeckel, so I also don't feel that bad. <laughs> so I know the feeling. Oh, God. Oh. All right, it wouldn't be LBLCS finals if someone doesn't put the buggle coffee pass in. Oh, give me one sec. I got that on hand. Okay. Kenny JJ has a large piece of meat. <laughs> He enjoys sharing his meat with all of his friends. I thank him for my share and the juicy flavor of it. Kenny JJ always has the best meat. Kenny JJ, hunk of the city, meat of the city. Read that one, read that one, read that one. Well, I'm scared. Huckleberry Finn, a.k.a. A Bug Fanatic, is a commentator for the LBLCS that is often ridiculed for his squeakiness and questionable game knowledge. He is specifically known for his Orn One Trick Pony and Low Silver solo key. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I, I I've seen that guy somewhere. <laughs> oh, I have to change. Oh, I have to change the caster thing here. Okay, how do you spell your name? Uh, P C P R A E T T O R I A O E N. No. <laughs> Uh, I got it. It's close enough, right? Also, I put you on top of the list, so I hope you're okay with that. Uh, well, you know. Wait, no, change the thing, though. This is we, this is an old one. Yeah, that was the old I'll, one, I'll yeah. It, I'll change it, I'll change it. What are we changing it to, chat? Uh, but I mean, yeah. like... Chat, make up a thing. <laughs> Let's just poke them, see if they make up the thing, you know? Yeah. So, chat, you see the order in which the casters are listed. Uh, no, they don't, come up he, with the best. The come off. up with the best uh, ranking, for it, like or it, what category? Is, it, it, whoops. is this true? Is this true? Is this one true? I don't know. I can't see. Yes, a delay. Oh, reverse age. Then, By right? age? At youngest to oldest? I think I'm right. That's probably oh. yeah. That's probably right. I think I'm right. I don't know how old any of us are. Okay, so uh, let's do by. Well, oh, we know oh, Buggles oh. a boomer. Um, organized by number of teeth. I'll do. <laughs> Okay, well that. And makes you're sense. going on the bottom, Mike. <laughs> no, wait, wait, no, this is good. Why? You've got seven teeth. Seventeen. I'll, I'll, I, I'll gladly go in the middle, but. I'm I was not. giving you a date, not a number. Uh, well, I guess dates have numbers. I'm on a frozen screen. Are you guys on a frozen screen? Yeah, but I'm clicking oh, a lot. I didn't even get into this lobby, so. Yeah, he's on the same thing I am. Very convenient. Do you have all your teeth, PC? Uh, currently, he has a few. Okay, extras. so you definitely more. So when I was younger, I he had a really high bag. fever, and some of my teeth melted in my mouth when I was like a little baby and I was just born. So I don't have all my teeth. That's I like this new copy pasta. That and to be clear, I don't have my adult teeth. I have many baby <laughs> about, teeth in my mouth. About foolish sucker, that's a good foolish one. Foolish sucker, that's a good one. I like the Annie pick for foolish sucker as well. Classic. Wait, why does it say the Serenity already has won a game? That's my bad, guys. Hang on one second. Hang on, hang on. Serenity fans in the chat are see here. Guys, I'm at the 33rd second, 34th second, just so you know. Oh, okay, let me pause up for a sec. Okay, give me another update. Uh, 39, 39, 40. Yeah, 40. Good, good, good. Yeah, they are yeah. sitting in this tribe, or not the tribe bush, but they're sitting in the bush yeah. right here. Maybe waiting uh, for an invade. Like hey, hey, hold on, bush, hold on. Because it's shaped be... kind of like a banana. The other one's more banana shaped, though, so maybe that one's banana. What? You call them banana bush? 
Yeah, this one's not it's called the, the this banana bush. Like the, this one's the wolf's bush. The one below it's the banana. What? Oh, yeah, okay. You get a POV I, I of see banana. That. This one used to wrap around more, but now it's kind of straight. So it's got a ward anyone else call that the banana bush? You're saying you got a ward in the banana bush? There's a red ward in there? Yeah, there's a red ward in the banana bush right there. Okay. Just get the little angle on that. You see that, Praetorian? No doubt. No doubt. You see that bush? It's a pizza chicken ward. Very good skin. Wait, did, uh. did, uh, did Nor Norway Pete change hunk, or is it still Jericho? He, I don't no, know who he it's wanted to be. It's currently on Howl. Not Hunter. He's oh, is he not in the he's game? He's not in the game. He's not in the game. Alright, so Jericho's still hunk of the game. Okay. Yeah. Uh blue buff start for both junglers here. Are you pronouncing that right? I don't who? Want to talk to. Just be how who? Are oh. sure it's not Y2 Rich? Sports fan Y2 redeemed rich. hunk alert. Hunk alert, who's the hunk in the game? It's not oh shit, double on Jericho. Yeah, you've got a triple up if you want to put it on somebody else. Jericho's got many oh, votes my. here. I want to see some foolish sucker fans putting that down. Uh oh, this is some big damage coming out of the hunk of the game. Oh, so chunked. Kevin, no. Okay, I'm gonna as much as his pickums got chunks. Ke mm -hmm. Trollberg <laughs> getting absolutely destroyed. Yeah, Trollberg. This is a pretty tame beginning. Should be kind of losing, yeah. There's the flash oh, forward. Okay. He untames very it tame. very quick. The hunk is absolutely smashing with the hunk hammer. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, is they this dropped, really an economy game? Yeah, they dropped the Janna heal there, so, uh, if you guys didn't notice, it is the Chris who took the exhaust on Twitch, which I think is actually Another pretty friend. good here, and they've they've run with, like, the heal on the Janna, so. I mean, like, the exhaust is, is just, like, I don't trust my support. Yeah. I think yeah, it well, might be a... If you're playing Twitch, you kind of want to solo mission yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Oh, that's that's why weird. uh that's why Seer always takes exhaust because he doesn't trust Jack at all. Well, I don't that him. makes sense though. Yeah. Cheeto on his red buff <laughs> right now. Already in the top side here. Both guys are clearing out their jungle. They're gonna be able to trade scuttles here, so that's gonna be. Yeah, I wonder where Cheeto's gonna Ooh. gank first. I think it's probably bought with the wave state. Unlucky draw for Kindred here because it is the boss. They do have wards in both up. bushes though. Cheeto's probably like, yo guys, the boss got a little stop, bro. I'm gonna be on that. <laughs> He talks that much. <laughs> Yo, MXT? Yeah. I, yeah, I'm like trying to think. TI 84 that. calculator. So we just call him Kalki? Kalki up in the sure. top lane? Call him Kalki. Uh oh, there's a big. They have a nice ward here right now, but Kevin is slightly out of position. He does have his spell block. Is he going to end up using it? He does, but they're able to grab a lot. Really good stun there from the hunk of the game. Gets stunned right underneath tower, but not quite in range. The exhaust is dropped on him, and he is first blood. Hunk down, kids. Hunk down. Jericho will be respawning very soon, though, and he'll run on down to that ball lane and continue to be a hunk. I'm still going with Y2 Rich. I'm just gonna keep trying stuff till I find one that I really like. Jericho, I don't know. Sounds like a, sounds like a, a corn, uh, like chip or something, you know, like a branded corn chip. Where do you live? Oh, <laughs> never mind. He's not smart. It's not about where he lives. Uh oh, he has just to block kill? this. Oh, Chris oh. with a nice stacking. And a good e pop right there on his This is a uh, bad start for the bot lane where the hunk lives. Uh, and a really good start here for Serenity Esports. Yeah, but the hunk is gonna farm up now. It's a solo XP on the wave. It's pretty, it's pretty good. You know? He's a hunk with honor. He's not even taking it. He's just freezing it up for his body to come back. Yep, looking at the only lane that matters, though, the mid lane. It's dead even on CS. That's what you said in Champ Select, right? These are the only ones that are... Uh... Yeah, nothing else matters. <laughs> okay, yeah. I can get along oh with that. God, what a huge... Are, are we, you all, we all mid laners me? here? Are you kidding oh. me? Uh, that was uh, kind of questionable. But... What? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Yo, Quiet J Hope cracked. Uh, challenging yeah, yeah, challenging for the hunk title. I because mean, talking was... about crack through, talking about running the tower at level three. Yeah. I, listen, that was a really uh... sweet charm. It was well predicted. It was cast it's before the Q the, was. He hit the Q, yeah. yeah. Had to had to flash out of uh, out of Kindred and then not quite enough as the last tower shot chased him down. Leggett does have six. We'll see if that matters. Uh, getting kind of punished in that top lane as we kind of expected from the draft. 
I want to restart the conversation about how we're pronouncing Serenity Top Laner's name. There seems to be like three the or four. The last Leggy boy. Leggy. Yeah. I thought it was Legate. Oh, Legate is good too. I, I'll accept the last Legate. Legate. I think you have to put the voice into it if you're going to do it. Legate. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Legate. Like <laughs> okay, no <laughs> doubt. Kinjid yeah. wrapping around mid right here. Cheeto is in the bush looking to go riding on a wave down in mid lane. Is he going to grab that, dude? He flashes forward. He's able to snag him right under the tower. But here comes Kindred, getting a lot of damage. That ultimate doesn't quite connect. We'll just get one more auto attack. If they do, they'll kill him. Cheeto now here does not have flash. He should be going down, and he does. That's a stack for Kindred. Can we get a stack count on Kindred? It's going to be your job, buddy. Uh, totally lame, bro. I <laughs> uh, got, like, one stack <laughs> off Cheeto, though. Okay. I know that... Oh! It's actually spawned right now on this bottom side scuttle, and they're going to just group to it. Honk already on it. Yep, Hunk is uh, definitely after it for the teammates. This uh -oh. game gets the freeze on bar. Kevin is out of position. He's going to get flashed on. He's going to get knocked up. He cannot be healed and shielded to safety. He will go down. That's his second death of the game. He's going to be falling further behind in XP with lack of CS as well. Yeah, we've seen some priority on this Twitch pick throughout the season for Serenity, and we're starting to see why a 3-0 start for Chris in the bot lane. Yeah. And uh, that's going to be pretty painful for the Hunk. Tried like, to roam away and help on the crab and then got You know, punished. they took away Trollberg's Morgana. And they took away two top laners. And you got the last Legate up there. Or the last Legate, right? It's a lot. Huge Legate. flash forward from the Hunk. That's a double stun onto Trollberg and Chris. Now they're here, but this is a really good exhaust. Chris will go down in the end. They're going to hand it right on over to Kindred, who's now chasing down Kohlberg. We know they have no flash. They already have used it on Sivir. And Kindred is popping off a big double kill from them. Yeah, well, I know, the I know they paid us. Flash. Yeah, wow. yeah they, they paid us to call him the hunk, but like, damn. They don't need Richo them. is going crazy. We're yeah. flashing like Catman levels of support I, plays he, here. He's flashing on cooldown in, like not out, in with his stun nonstop. Dude's a maniac. Yeah, very accurate with the ease. I mean, it's, it's just been really, really good so far. Yeah, Kindred's huge right now. This is going to be very big um, because I think Kindred really is a super reliable, constant DPS source. Sivir can be, but not until you get a few items. Whereas Kindred, it relies on your stacks, and once you basically get that second item, you're already online. Where's our resident uh, Sivir connoisseur? Oh, okay. We're not doing this. <laughs> Wait, Evdingus has had his time in the sun. We'll let him rest. Yeah. Gone did you know, did you know Evdingus did not know what sunscreen was? Huh? I think he didn't know what sunscreen was. I just talked to him like a week ago, and I was talking about sunscreen, and he, he was legitimately confused. He was what, do, like, what do you mean he by was he like doesn't he, know? He didn't know what it was. Like I, he's never seen sunscreen, he or didn't he was unaware of the existence of the a product, that you, of the product that you put on your skin? The product that you put on your skin. He thought I was talking about screens, like bug screens, to block <laughs> on like in like a sunroom. <laughs> well, uh... So... <laughs> Don't trust hmm. anything this guy says, even if it's about Sivir. I don't think that he's in the real world. Why is it that the entire admin staff is just like... <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 don't. We have Mighty. <laughs> and next he's going to go forward. Here's a really big ultimate, but the stun is not quite in time from the Hunk. He's going to get out of this tower range. He has to. Really good shield onto him, and that's a kill right there for the Andy. Kevin down to the bottom lane is going to go down as well. Everybody going to survive up in the top lane. So it's a one-for-one -one trade across the map. They're getting Kindred and Annie fed, but Sivir falling behind. Oh my god, More they're gonna take Apoa. they're gonna take More like a buggle screen, am I right? What? What? <laughs> I don't know, I just did the stream and I heard y'all talking about sunscreen and bug screen. And... Talking about how uh, the thing okay. is they didn't know what sunscreen was. Yeah. I yeah. taught him the other day and that's a real thing. They're gonna take top tower here, which is massive. They're actually gonna get the gold lead off of that despite being down a kill and a pretty big CS discrepancy down in the bot lane, as well as a decent one up in the top lane right now. I like that play though. They're they're kind of cutting their losses on the bot lane, and they're trying to rotate their advantages somewhere else. And they're saying, okay, well, Sivir's a little behind, but you know she's a scaling champion, good at farming, and yep. we'll let her pick that up later in the game. Mighty, how many stacks does Kindred have now? Because you can roam around the map, but I'm not sure how many times she's marked those targets. Precisely four, no more, no less. Okay. <laughs> so she's she's at that point now where she's going to start getting some camps on the other side of the jungle. Yeah, that's really annoying to to play for as, as Kindred, especially if you have like a weak side lane and your marks end up going bot side. Here's what I will say though, you've got two supports 
on your team that can kind of just kind of get you in, get you out pretty safely and quickly. So if they start roaming like this, it looks like everybody's going to be grouping with this dragon. It's going to be the first time we really see a team fight break out. They've already started it. They're going to pull off, though, as they see people arriving. They have really nice wards here to be safe. They are looking just for somebody to step out of place. Chris staying off screen here is really important because they don't know where he could be yet. So he's going to walk on a ward right now. I'm sure they know now. They're looking for some type of knockout. Yeah, and I like how they're playing this. They have to kind of kite back with this comp with the Terracult, with the Kindred ult, and yep. just try to play in these zones. They don't want to get hit by that big These guys have started. It's really it hard off. for these guys to find the engagement. And this is what I'm talking about where Annie is so important. She has her stun up. She has her ultimate up. If they don't go in, they're never going to get it. It okay. does go up for two of them. They already have that. Sure. The John ult goes down. That means Kindred still has hers, and they can't blow him out. That's one kill already already out of this one. That's a second one. And Meowington are really starting to rack them up as the Tarek ult hits perfectly to protect them. That's three kills. Can they find the fourth onto Chris? He burns out in the end. They're looking for a full ace without even dropping a soul, but they did drop a dragon. Yeah, they just clicked that Terracar and ran straight through the enemy team. They the uh, Serenity guys were not sure what to do. They didn't see the ultimates coming down right away, and they just tried to kite back. But got routed completely after picking up that Drake. Another momentous thing happened in that fight, which is I heard Buggle say that Annie is a useful champion. Uh, we've we've discussed... Yeah, I can't believe I was going to say this and tell you, but I did say I think Annie and Ari are the two most important champions in the game. Wow. Yep. He did That's... say that. Because they, have the, most, right they have the most unique jobs. Ari has to yeah. try to find a way to sneak into this incredibly protecting team that has, like, shield blocks and good mobility and crazy <laughs> invulnerability. So she has to find a way in there to get a pick before these fights start. And Annie is the only one that can safely engage unless Honk has his flash up, basically yeah, to find thing. something. We, we didn't really touch on this all that much in Champ Select, but Annie is one of, like three CCs available, right? Mm -hmm. Like from the whole team, so... Yeah, and a lot of that CC important. isn't very reliable. Right. Like Karma W, not yeah. great. The one thing they can do that we saw in that fight, though, is they kind of plowed through. They they said, yeah. okay, we've got endless shields, we've got move speed, we've got healing, we've got spell shields. We're just going to sprint at you because you guys seem unorganized right now. We got a little bit of a CC. We took out one person, and they just kind of ran them down like a train. Yeah, they really did. They just kind of Ooh, ran through that fight and uh, scattered Serenity all over. And I think it was it's one of those things that you see a lot in... I've seen it a lot in my own games, where once you clear the objective, sometimes the team takes different paths to, like, retreat back. Yep. I think that's exactly what uh, caused the problem there for Serenity. Serenity mm. is on two Drakes, though. Meowington don't have any quite yet. Oh, I didn't put up the Drake timer, so yeah. sorry. Absolutely a win condition for them Got here. Three, they do have to make up 4,000 gold difference here, uh, but... Okay. It's pocket change. This is a mountain drake. I mean, this is like a wet dream for the side of Meowington if they grab this. I mean, they're so protecting already with their team composition. Mm -hmm. They grab those. They're going to be nearly unkillable. I I'm thinking you got to start getting some... Yeah. I think they could maybe give one more away... Uh... But it's, it's kind of tricky but they've because be they're trading. such good engage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like they, when, you don't want to be put in that position of the, like having to fight for that last trade because right. your engage kind of sucks into an Orin team with a Mumu as well. Like, So I think it'd be much better if they could get this next one so they're not on soul point. Yeah, and Kindred's going to do a lot of damage onto the last of the gate here. Half health him, and you're going to chase him down, not even under tower a little bit. He's going to have to start chugging on his corrupting potions as they're starting to push in. Harold's going to spawn in four seconds from now, and it looks like they're making an effort to go there. Some pings coming out on that Tarek and Amumu here. Yeah, Chidu might be in trouble here if he doesn't find his way over. Gintry can definitely come from the flank. There she goes. This, this, all right, if that charm hit, Chido that was just says, later, bruh. And they are just full, like, oh my god. Kevin just getting full left alone down here in the bot lane. Hunk don't want to play with him. But, you know. but... Trollberg and Chris want to play with him, and they're, oh my god, they're diving? Oh. Uh, no. no way. I, here's oh, my hot Massive take. sun up here onto Cheeto. Cheeto is going to have an ultimate return. Can he escape out of here? The Aftershock can even stay for a little bit longer, but Karma's going to pick up the kill. They pick up the Herald as well. It's onto this Kindred. They're going to march mid. I think they're just going to drop it. Yeah, that, I think that'd be a deeply smart play. Um, yeah, timing's really bad, too, because they are going to have this uh, dragon spawning, and this is going to give them time to set it up. 
Mm -hmm. Get that mid-priority. A good path to the Drake. Prevent really safe entrances for the enemy team. Um, but, itemization. I think Kevino should just go Serpent's Fang. Hot take. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, shaping up to be that lethality game. Serpent's Fang would be a good idea into a team with... Uh... With the Janna for sure. You've got your Kindred as that stable DPS, and you've got Annie being that burst. So any amount of poke you can lay down before you engage in these big fights, Another I think, is friend. super effective. Yeah, and uh, on top of that, if uh -oh. Mountain Soul to oh, uh -huh. they can't quite with the stun. They're gonna dive this tower. Oh my God, Hunk just wants blood. He's hunky hunking. And he is gonna soak some blood up. That tower shot not doing enough to finish him off in the end. I take it Y2 Jericho is now known as Hunk. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. there's a new. Uh, way to spend your schmeckles, and that's to dub somebody mm. Hunk of the game. We refer to only oh. as Hunk in the game. Yeah. Wait, really? Until someone else is, uh... Dubbed oh. Hunk. What's this means war? Uh, casters have oh, to switch their spot. opinion. That's about. great! Who came up with that? <laughs> Me! I'm very smart. Oh. So someone told him to. So, I don't no, know who no, you don't, don't you dare try to credit somebody someone, else. <laughs> someone, I spent an hour. Someone I know, or someone you don't know? I... Ooh, I spent an hour changing up all of the settings for uh, when you when you try to play a sound with your bits, so that the logo pops up for each team. Oh. Yeah, well, someone someone did that as well, I think. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, meanwhile, uh, Meowington did pick up the Drake, which I think is very very important for their team. All right, well um, this means war. I'm gonna start talking about how good Serenity is doing. So I haven't been talking about it enough. Uh, Twitch. Really big win condition right now. Can definitely lay down that damage. I think they need to start roaming around with his invisibility, get some good vision set up, and then they can look for picks. These guys aren't always together, but whenever they're up against them, Meowington is starting to group, and they need to pretty much find them those couple of moments before their group just five. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I also think that, like, if I see, you know, Mumu had to try and use his ult earlier alone, didn't really have other setup. If I see Twitch ulting at the same time as a Mumu, I think things could start looking a little bit different, especially if Kindred ult is not on the table. Well, they just dropped that Sivir ult by Meowington, and it's not going to amount to much, because they could not find a pick here. We've got Baron in a minute and a half, basically. Zoom, zoom. A lot of yeah, Mowington have been really on top of the objectives, and I think uh, Cheeto's been trying to get in and find his way, but if they don't go together for the side of Serenity, it's going to be very, very difficult. They have such good engage, so if they just group ahead of time, I think they can manage it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a pretty fair assessment. Although, I will note the gold lead has not significantly ballooned recently. It's, it's increased a little bit, but it, it's still within reach of comeback. Yeah, yeah, it I was super the... big, though, for the side of Meowington to grab that third Drake that we were talking about, mm -hmm. because now there's no pressure for them to play for this next one. If they feel like, okay, these guys just got a couple of items, they have really good Wombo, we have just a couple ults down. We don't want to play for it, let's trade. try to trade for the Baron, because they have fast DPS with that Kindred. Absolutely. Um... Trollberg getting some vision on this top side, maybe looking to do the opposite of that, where they protect that Baron, get some vision down, and then rush the dragon. And I think um, uh, it's very important for Serenity that they get to go first in these fights, be the ones engaging. Yeah. Can uh, we get Mighty, a... can we can we get a stack update, Mighty? Yeah, update. Oh good. yeah, for sure. Now moving to the desk with Mighty for a stack yeah, update. Bum, four, bum, bum. No, no update at all. It's the same. No way. Oh. <laughs> no, it's the same. It's four. So they. They might not be like clicking the portraits to do that thing then, because I feel like they definitely have gotten. Didn't they kill all five of them? Yeah. They killed. No, that all... was that was since the last one. Oh, how, how many was it then? Just four. No way. Still. It just hadn't moved. I, I, it's been four the whole I'm time. having trouble. Popova, can you see a screen? <laughs> can you validate? I, I can see my screen, mighty. And is it four? Yeah, it's four. It is four. Wow. Oh, I'm four. genuinely surprised that it's not more. I can read. Eight kill participation, and he's farming well. Well, I guess when you are, you know, they're they're not invading as much as when they are invading. They're looking for the kills as opposed right. to looking for the camps, right? Which is valid, completely valid. And I do like that Kindred has now put her mark onto the Amumu because he, uh, has, to go in. he yeah. has to go in, and he essentially has to die in order for them to win the team fight. Like right. he is not tanky enough to survive the onslaught of all of these mythics when he's just sitting around with the. Honey, Cinder, and a Bramble Vest. And even if Kindred is not the one that's going to be focusing them, that Q uh, drop is going to end up on him. It's a couple of close targets. Quiet J Hope is going to try to get away. Does not land. 
the CC. Kendry going to ult themselves just outside of the range here as Timber goes and tanks the tower. Really nice ultimate there from Kindred. You know, that's not a mark either, is it? Oh, here we go. Chris doing oh, a lot of damage. Cool. Just picks him up in the mid lane. Whenever Chris is near this Sivir, he is deleting them. Five kills for him and four deaths on this Sivir. Yeah, well played. Good sneak. I think that means, though, that, like, Meowington now don't have to worry about the main damage threat on Serenity, right? Say more. So, uh, I think that the only real risk of dying right now, if you're on Meowington, unless someone's being uh, excessively troll, is Twitch, right? Counterpoint. Uh, I think their comp's really good into Twitch with all the safety, and if you can find isolated kills, it's probably the best usage of your ultimate. Oh, a really good block from Trollberg right there. Can you everybody safe? And here comes an engage. Okay. He's going to force the ultimate out of Tarek. Can he do anything else with it? Looks like it's going to be a full disengage with that Karma as well. But Orn is looking for it again. Can he find it? He finds two up in the air. John is going to come on in. Foolish Zucka gets dropped in the air. Huge stun from the hunt, keeping everybody safe for a little bit longer. John is going to drop the heels, and Tarek is the first one to go down. They find the CC return. Cheeto going to grab that wave and ride it. Foolish Zucka now trying to run away. A nice ultimate E from Karma, but it's not going to be enough. Annie dropping some damage over the wall right there. Will die in the end. Oh, so many have fallen for Meowington, but now all of Serenity is low. Can these two poke these guys out? It, yeah, really cool fight. They just waited until the ultimates were used as well in that bot lane dive, mm -hmm. and then they, knowing that that's not available, does such long cooldowns on that uh, Kindred and Terracult. Yeah, and I think it was just a really, really good example of some nice engage and a good front to back as um, what Chris Chris Mar Chris Mar. Huh? Chris Remus? You just call him Chris. Just call him Chris. Chris. We call him yeah, Chris. Chris Remus Chris um, <laughs> was able to DPS that entire fight really without being touched all that much. What I want to talk about in that one is they have comms, right? They're definitely using them because the way they engaged was scattered but stacked. No one mm -hmm. over committed on the engage. Cheeto went in, dropped his ultimate. They saw it got the Terra call. Everybody stopped but didn't get out of range. They were just kind of dancing in the area, and they said, okay, Tarek all down, Orn starts his ultimate. He knocks up two. They're trying to trap those guys, basically. Oh, Meowington making a play for this Baron right now. I like okay. it. They have the ultimates coming back up. They have that Kindred ult. They have the Annie And, and you I have two ADCs. Why not? Yeah. Also important, I think they've had vision control on this for, like, the last three or four minutes. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's going to go down. Yeah. Is that a is stack? Coming. I'm nope. Just... <laughs> oh my god, it's still four. I guess they did lose the last fight, so that Yeah, they yeah. they did. They got a couple of kills in it. They got one actually just, right? I I think they I just grabbed one. Won. Yeah, it was a one for, for get three. Cheeto? Uh I don't think it was Cheeto, no. Oh, it was Sprite Trollberg. You're right. No. I was alright. It had to be alright. No one. Yeah, I think, okay, I think wait, if it, if it was yeah. anyone, it was Ari. Well, they dove under tower, and that was her third death. Hey, chat, where are we? <laughs> chat, is this game one? <laughs> oh, chat no, doesn't know it's either because you messed one. up the thing. It's I fix it. It's game yeah. one. It's game one of five. And my pickums, I think it's a five game series. Oh, boy. And, and your pickums are always correct, correct right? <laughs> uh, Izawa playing again, the Meowing to the Ink. Yeah, my pickums have been pretty good. I'm number one right now. Which means I've just yeah. jinxed myself and I will get all of the rest of my You're actually control. number one. I am, yeah. That sucks. I hate that. <laughs> I got, I did get Naughty Boy versus Naughty Boy wrong. No, I had other Naughty Boys winning. No uh, way, you I, actually bet on it. Did you have, did you have yeah. oh, Naughty no. 200 winning because, the whole thing? Or did you have no, Team No, I have chicken. Team Fried Chicken winning that. Mm. That's reasonable. I mean, I actually don't even have Team Fried Chicken. I have Earl King winning it all. <laughs> <laughs> I, Earl King. I I want to see Earl King's uni. I've I've heard whispers. I've heard stop. legends. Stop. I don't want to see that don't, at all. If if I see it, I don't want to be casting. <laughs> it's my <laughs> mind. I do. I think that'd be funny as well. Yeah, Gix, thank you, you for the follow. You seem to be doing a good enough job casting an any game, so I don't know. Well, here's the thing. I I like foolish sucker. I just like the guy. I'm gonna forgive this sin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I also I think their comps really fun. I think that they're playing Man. off meta. I think that they're playing to their own kind of strengths, um, and I just like that. These they're tornadoes playing. are brutal. 
Yeah, the Baron push not really getting that much though. There's a lot of wave clear coming through, and it's just very hard to get in at these turrets safely against all that engage. Mm -hmm. You do have to suffer who's going over the wall. Top. Cheeto's Ooh. gonna grab the stun, forces the ultimate out of Jericho. That means they're going to dive. A lot of damage coming up with this. Not going to kill anybody. Is now they're just trying to grab this tower. At least put some damage on it. Any up in the top lane is pushed up as well. We've got some ultimates down in the mid lane. Yeah. I think that was a, a really good look from Cheeto. Um, maybe a little bit of a hasty response there from Hunk. Sir Hunkington. The Hunk. I agree. The, the cooldown difference is like so big. That it's very different. Like, Here comes like, another ult. Oh, okay. the they can't. It's going to be a double knockup onto the two people you want it to be on. That's a triple knockup right there. They're going to even CC him for longer. A really nice ultimate drop by Silmari. Will they go down in the end? The exhaust is dropping on them and Twitch firing over the wall. Orange going to pick up that kill. Everybody else. Oh my god. Annie in the Ooh. back line just going to drop it all on them. A nice spell shield, but it won't matter. Serenity able to really clean up this fight. Once that Terrick ult is down, they are finding their ways into this fight and they are cleaning them up. Yeah, I mean, it just looked like tank too tanky. Um, you know, without like a Kraken Slayer, I think Solari just wasn't quite able to get through the Mumu, get through the Orn as much as they may have wanted to, and it just led to a wipe. And this fight's coming at a really optimal time because yes, they're going to be alive for this next dragon, but that means Serenity can go there, set up everything. If they pick up this soul, they're going to be really hard to fight. They're going to have a lot more shielding a lot more resistance, especially within an Orn Amumu and you're double stacking the mountain with both going Sunfire, so the tankier items and those being upgraded probably third and fourth. Mm -hmm. So, or I guess technically first because it's Orns, but probably third oh, for Amumu. We've got a worm fallen sacrifice. And that's actually huge. I mean, obvious, I think, in terms of upgrades, but... I think that'll be huge for damage. I think it's already done a lot. I think Twitch has actually done something that I was recommending um, Sivir do. Obviously, Twitch has a little bit more uh, money right now in the game. But Twitch has Twitch more reason to has... do that, though, because, I mean, look at the yeah. Tarek yeah, shields, look at the Karma time. shields. Mm -hmm. And his ultimate will apply to multiple people, so... Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I agree. I think it's a very good item for this game in general. Charm does land especially... on the Tarek, Especially. But... It's, it's starting to get them out in soul here, which they are forced They're to looking do. to do it. It's going to be really hard for these guys to find their way in. They do have the Taric ultimate, but they're not able to just dive into here. They're trying to go around. That soul picked up for Serenity. They're going to try to find the fight now that they're disorganized, though. And this is what they did down in that second dragon as well. A lot of damage coming out here comes the Orn ultimate to disengage. It looks like they didn't find anybody on it, though. Silnari doing a lot of damage, just chewing away at these guys. As Jericho's going to go in for this stun, does find it onto Orn, who is just backtracking. Who goes deep? It's, oh my god, Cheeto riding the waves into heaven. Can he find his way out of this one, though? Silnari dropped super low. Oh my god, Amu was going crazy. Nice. CC and again these guys are playing patient fights they're looking for their entry they're finding it and they're cleaning up third time in a row yeah I feel like they've played against the Tarek or two in their time great front to back and honestly frozen heart value has to be so big right now with the Kindred and the Sivir just reducing that DPS that has been so problematic to deal with because I don't think Amy has enough damage to get through Order of Mumu right now yeah. Yeah, and what an insane engage from Cheeto. Like a four or five oh, minute ult, yeah. I think. That was massive. Is there zero heal, cut, heal cutting on the side of Meowington? Um, um, yes. Yeah. yeah. Amumu and Orn have brambles on the side of Serenity. There's a Chemtech and Purifier. Ajina has Chemtech, yeah. which is all the, all the rest you but need. But looking right? at the side of. I don't see any coming yeah, up there's none. I mean, I don't think, you know, inherently. Not a ton of healing out. I guess Ari does. Ari care has it. it in her yeah. kit. Twitch probably mm -hmm. has it in his runes. I would think. I would. I would expect this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Jana so has the ability to heal, healing. but I think it, they might want to think about that investment. Is there now trying to dance around this Baron? Everybody, pings are going crazy right now. So Nari is right over the wall. They have vision of this. He is begging to go in. He wants to go in. He wants it to drop low. They're going to have to try to burst if they are going to go for it. Is he going to go over this wall? He's going to go right about now. If he does it, he's going over the wall. Can he get it? He's not able to grab it. It is Cheeto that picks it up. He's out of the pit, though. So Nari's still alive right now, but Baron going over to the side of Serenity. Yeah, yeah good Cheeto luck. playing crazy good. A big engage last fight, good secure there. And they have Soul and Baron to show for it now. Yeah, it's uh, 
They're still down you know, gold, by the way. Just they're still down out. gold, but I think they're up in terms of gold value when you yep. talk about the Mountain Soul, yep. when you talk about wearing purple right now as they are. They, there is still quite a bit of standing gold. We expect them to get this mid turret, if not both the tier two as well. So I, I like wouldn't be surprised. I like the shadow yeah. flame that Annie's picked up earlier. She does have her own stopwatch right now too. So she can make more aggressive plays and the team can come back up right after. Um, I'm, I'm nervous about the lethality that's coming out of Sivir. I think really in this instance, when you started to fall behind in these fights and they started to win them on the side of Serenity, you maybe needed to pivot that a little bit. Yes, you went Dark Harvest, but consider the amount of damage you will be able to put out when this game gets to three or four items because you're almost at three. It might go to four if they can't win on this push, so. Yeah, and they don't have an easy way to get rid of this Horn either. He's so tanky. Double right. Frozen Heart being picked up. Actually mirrored builds completely for uh, Legget and Cheeto. Which I don't hate. I mean, I always wonder if um, Kindred needed to go crack in here. I wonder if they're not even buying items unless the other one can. At, at least LDR, I think. I guess either going to go back and just like every time they go back buy the exact same item. Because <laughs> they are identical right now. Let's well, check out Gold. Cheat. Oh, or or cheat he can Orange just got a Ruby Crystal. So uh oh, uh -oh. Amuma in gold. better back. Amuma. They're Amuma. very close in gold. I mean, they are like identical in gold. Yeah. And, oh, uh. Is this a mark? Nope. Mark check. Nope. Still. <laughs> for... I think that no, might stop. be contributing because when you do get those more marks, you get more range and. Right. Stagnating on this Kindred is really not what you want to see. And they're yeah. not really long range. I mean, Sivir can throw some deep Qs. But her auto attacks, she doesn't have big range. Kindred does not have big range until you start really stacking those. So Annie even, her engage is limited. So the fact that they get to get so close or have to to fight this Amumu Orn, even Ari too, the CC is going to come out and it's going to start stacking really, in a really major way. Even Colbert can, can outrange them. Mm -hmm. I guess finding some people. Yeah, but no Kindred there. And you need Kindred to DPS down these tanks right now. Uh, Blade of the Rune King, the best tank slaying item they have on their board right now, and it's you know if it's not available, you can't really walk to Legate, right? Or Cheeto. Yeah, I mean Cheeto, I don't think is quite as tanky as Legate, uh, although he's even the same level. They've got the same yeah. build and the same level. It's like they need the same score. They do need the same Le score. Legate needs to, needs to go, go die. die. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And, um, okay, Kohlberg might actually oh. be out of position. Here comes Stonelight going really deep onto Kohlberg. They do get the Flash ultimate. And they get it right before this Elder Drake, although the ultimate will be back up in time. The Flash will not. Yep. That's a short cooldown on Monsoon. Yeah, that ultimate will definitely be back up, but that that, that Flash will not. So burning that Flash it's, for free it's is 2022. nice. Ultimates have like 30 second cooldowns. That's just how it is. <laughs> Unless you're playing uh, your favorite champion, in which case they have like a 12 second cooldown. What's what's my favorite Lux? champion? Oh, Lux. Lux is my favorite champion. Yeah, you're you Lux jungle Lux? now. You're Lux jungle man. I'm a jungle man, dude. I play like hard. <laughs> we rerolled all our positions. He got jungle. Yeah, he I actually heard, got. He actually rolled them. He actually got mid and then uh, was yeah. given jungle because <laughs> the person who got jungle didn't want what, it. I don't want that dog roll. I don't know. Dude. Look at this Orn. He cannot be they touched. Do, they have the same build again. I love this. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. I strive to have that much synergy with my top laner. Yeah. True. Okay, Hunk going all the way in, finding some. Oh CC, the ultimate is going to get dropped. It's going to be really well timed for the time of Orn's ult going in. Kevin dropping super low from the backside. Here comes Quiet. J-Hope can't find the stun. A really nice spell block up in the front line. Foolish Sucker looking for something. He's going to actually be the one that goes down. Quiet, J-Hope trying to find the end. Doesn't have the charm available, but is going to slice and dice some damage into there. Yeah, just too much damage from the Twitch. Not enough damage from the Kindred is basically what that fight came down to. It was a really good effort from Foolish Saka in that fight. Yeah. Flashing onto the Twitch and trying to take him out. But Trollberg was there with the shield. And there was too much uh, like kill and CC stopping Foolish Saka from finishing If that you kill do off. kill, so Elder is on them. It's up to them to end the game. Basically with Perfect. this Elder while it's on them. If you don't, and they get more and more, and won these fights, they blow up Twitch, they will, Meowington will win that fight, because Twitch is so much of their damage, and they have such good DPS in this elongated fight with all the shield and healing they have, they will be able to burn down the tanks over time, as long as nothing from the back is just firing into them. 
Yeah, don't forget about their assassin, though. Yep. Or but still, really telegraphed. <laughs> really telegraphed home. Now, yeah. here's my issue with Zern right now. What happens if Orn or Mumu start to get more kills than the other person? Mm. They're not going to have matching items, and their synergy will get broken. Uh-oh. But eventually they'll be full build. They, they already bought a different item, so I'm already worried about them. Ah. Uh, no, it's no, just... It's okay. Orange just their back. gold Orange is just almost identical, too. Uh, Orange just got a bunch of minions. He's biffing it. He's messing this yeah. up. Just damn it, man. Come on. Leg it. Get over there. Wait, he's got TP. He can base and buy... He did. He finished it in lane because he's a broken champion who can buy items from... from out of the map. <laughs> so... I want them to fight. I, I need them to just start pulling the trigger more. They have Elder. You're going to burn them. All you need to do is touch them. Just be close. Just Ornhorn. You got it. Oh my goodness. Just Ornhorn into Crush the Sad Mummy. Jay Ritchie getting in a little bit of trouble, but I like it. The Hunk is too tanky. Yeah, they started up the Baron. They want to have everything. They want to take it all off the map. They want to say no trades. They want to say no holds. They want to take it all. Goes over the wall. He is able to steal it. He flashes back. That is nasty from Silnari. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we saw that before, but this time it goes a little different. Silnari with a six deal. Yeah, and Still these guys, mark, 